There may be something that you're doing that's preventing you from inner peace, happiness, and owning your power. Blaming everybody else for how you feel emotionally and energetically. Do we all have any gut feelings about creators on the set? When you to talk to someone about that. Hi, this is just a friendly PSA that that gut feeling you have about that creator is probably right. We have a good number of friends on this app and have been able to do a lot of TikTok related events. You eventually become integrated enough that you become part of kind of a whisper network. And when I tell you, it is not even like 1% of the creators who are legitimately terrible people have been called out. It is why. Imagine somebody said that about you. They looked at you and they're like, ooh, I sense an evil or negative vibe. You're just living your life like you're doing what you're doing. You're being imperfect as a human and somebody is totally judging your emotions and your vibe. That wouldn't feel good because people are expecting you to be perfect and nobody's perfect. It's so much easier for me to blame them for the feeling that I'm feeling than to look inside myself and saying, what in me feels this way? Why am I recognizing it in them? Because nobody in the history of the world is perfect. We all have polarity and duality. We have good feelings, we have negative feelings. So much easier to look at other people and blame them for our discomfort. The energy and the emotions that we're feeling, it's their fault. That's easier to do because you don't have to sit and self-reflect and start analyzing yourself and be self-aware. It's not easy to grow. It does cause discomfort to look internally, but it is so empowering. But Tanya, what if I'm intuitively feeling something towards someone and I'm right? Intuition doesn't cause pain. Intuition is a knowing. It does not come with judgment. You won't look at someone and have an opinion or anything about them. You'll just have this knowing and probably stay away. But intrusive thoughts, on the other hand, which is often confused with intuition, does cause discomfort in your body, energetically and emotionally. Intrusive thoughts are self-projections. If you are feeling something and then you want to judge someone or have an opinion about them, that is not an intuitive feeling. Intuition is not a self-projection because there's no emotion attached to it, so you don't judge other people. Also, facts are not self-projection. You have no emotion when you're stating a fact. If I see a tree, factually, that's a tree. But how do I feel energetically or emotionally about a tree? That belongs to me. So if you see someone who factually has all the traits of a narcissist and you're like, hey, that's a narcissist, it doesn't make you a narcissist. But what emotion, what judgment do you have against a narcissist? That is the self-projection. And when you are judging a complete stranger where you have no factual evidence of anything and you're judging them online like all the comments you saw, that is 100% self-projecting your feelings on other people because you don't even know them. Now listen to me very carefully. Taking full responsibility for your assumptions, for your perceptions of others, does not mean that other people can treat you any kind of way. When you own your shit, that means other people have to own their shit. That means how other people treat you is their responsibility. So owning all of your assumptions, energetic, emotional feelings about other people is empowering. Nobody can gaslight you anymore because you are fully self-aware. Your conscious mind, which is less than 5%, is like analyzing everything every day. Your subconscious is very powerful in your brain. It's over 95% and it's all hidden emotions from your past, your present, everything. So when somebody brings up this feeling within you, they just brought it up. It was in you. An emotional or energetic feeling is in you, lying in your subconscious, and they are bringing it to your conscious mind. And now you become aware. You can take that and say, hmm, let me self-reflect. Let me heal. Let me feel good about this. And I'm going to give some love to it. Or you could give it to them and say, you are making me feel discomfort and giving all your power away. What you feel on the inside will radiate on your outside world. Owning your self-projections can empower your energy. Having a negative vibe about other people has nothing to do with them, just like them having a negative vibe about you has nothing to do with you.